ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and support. Thank you for tuning into the Double RT Boxing Show, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. I am your host, Mr. A, and this is the post fight recap. Matisse stops. Yakumbiev. Whoa, the prediction I got wrong. I thought um, I thought the movement would be enough to uh, overcome the rugged forward pressure of Matisse. But again, as we've seen a lot, we've seen it from Jared Hurd, we've seen it from Joy Joyce. If you can't push him back and stand in the pocket long enough and get that respect, you're going to get your ass beat. And we've seen it again tonight. Matisse, 17-1 and one with 17 knockouts. You can be ever. He won the first two rounds, but damn it, did he had to work hard? He worked too hard, too much energy, and I knew it right there. And I'm like, gosh darn it, this is a prediction I'm getting wrong. I'm getting this. He's gonna get beat the fuck up. And at the end of round three, I definitely knew it. You see him walking back to it. Even though he won the first two rounds, the third round, you could give it a toss up. You know, Matisse started really coming on in that third round. And you see Yekambiev just walk back to his corner like, damn, I am tired. This motherfucker's thrown a lot of punches and they hurt. And sure enough, the next round, he gets he gets hit with that two-piece, stumbles backward, gets up, body language even worse than the way he walked back to his corner. He walks back to his corner at the end of the fourth round after that knockdown, just looking like... It looked like the fight's already over. And as a fan of boxing, to me, the fight was over at that moment. Like, unless he hits Matisse and catches him and and rocks him and he has to finish him. Matisse, in order to be, beat Matisse, when you, when you stun him, you got to finish him. Now, we've seen his loss. The guy is... The guy is there to get hit with right hooks. This southpaw, uh, he was left hand happy. He didn't, he didn't try any right check hooks, and um, he couldn't put he couldn't push Matisse back at all. He, I don't know. He tried. To, he wasted too much energy. You can be if that ass pushing him off with his uh, forearms. You know, I thought he was going to use his feet as movement, not his legs as movement. And Matisse just made him decide. What are you going to do? Are you gonna stand here and fight me? I'm gonna beat your ass if you do. Or are you gonna use all your energy and focus on defense? And that's what he forces you to do. What are you doing with the adrenaline pumping? You're moving around. You're scared. All this guy's beating is your ass. And you see the last round. Yekumi have really had no time to decide. Okay, boom, boom. I'm blocking. I'm blocking. I'm blocking. I'm getting away. I got, I'm about to throw a punch. No, no, he's coming again. I'm blocking, blocking, blocking. No, I get away. I'm about to throw a punch. No, he's coming again. He puts so much energy and attack on you, you you have no time to decide what punch do I want to throw? What do I do I want him in the body? Do I want him in the head? Ah oh, shit, I got a block because this motherfucker's coming again with a barrage. And I don't know, I don't know what it is. I, again, this was IVF eliminator number seven defeated number eight. I believe it's 19th coming up. We got number five and six with uh, Ritson and Ponce. And, and uh, the 19th for the WBO, you got number five, Pedraza taking on number 12, Julian Rodriguez. So you see the 140 next crop of people coming up. And you know, of course, right now, the hot name in 140 is Tank Davis. What is going to happen if Tank Davis does defeat Barrios? What's going to happen if he stays up there? Does he have enough power to push Ritson, I mean, not Ritson, uh, Matisse back? You know, what if that power doesn't carry up to where uh, it should? We, we see Matisse is there to get hit, but he bets heavy on his chin and he bets heavy on his gas tank. And it, it was n- nothing new from Matisse. We see what it is. The, guy is a, the guy is a Jared Hurd, he is a Joy Joyce. If he gets even a stronger jab, oh, yikes. Because the, the dude has all the punches. Body shots, uppercuts, hooks, corks, corkscrew punches. Excuse me. Uh, he throws everything out there. 
it's gonna be very, very interesting to see who's gonna be the guy. I forgot the, the the in the fight he lost the guy with the P last name. You see why he was able to win that fight on a decision. He stayed in the pocket and he fought Matisse. Yeah, he took some ass with him for that fighting in the pocket, but it took away the the forward motion, the power because. When you're backing up and in defense and Matisse is just coming forward delivering punches, that's where he beats your ass. But when, when you make him stand still, the punches are going to come. They're going to whoop your ass, but they're not coming with so much oomph on them. And then if you can push him back, as he's definitely uh, uh, a drop percentage in who he is. Still deadly, but you are really take an a, a 89% Matisse than the 100% Matisse, you know what I mean? And... Yakubiev just could not push him back. Even when he rocked him, I think like in round six, even when he stunned him, like those two quick little hooks, Matisse wasn't holding. He's like, I'll fight you. And the corner's like, dude, when you get rocked, you got to hold. When he rocks you, you got to hold. And Yakubiev, by that time, he used too much leg movement with that adrenaline pumping, the ass whooping coming. Uh, he, He was gassed out. That adrenaline gassed his ass out with the ass whooping that he was receiving. Um, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. It's, I don't. I don't know where he's gonna go from here. Cause no, uh, I, I didn't notice he was trained by Manny Robles when I was watching all the other videos on him. I don't know if this is his first fight with Manny Robles. I had the volume down watching the fight, so I don't know. I don't remember him being trained by Manny Robles. Maybe he was. I just overlooked it. I'm surprised if I overlooked it because if I would have saw him being trained with Manny Robles, I wouldn't have picked him to win. I never pick a Manny Robles fighter to win. I just don't believe he gets his fighters mentally over the edge to win. I just, he, he's good as a boxing trainer. He knows his shit, but I believe he's better as a chief second or a second man. I don't, I just don't think he's a, a top notch um, number one trainer. You know, he's famous for Andy Ruiz winning that title, but Ruiz hit AJ on the temple, and that was just it. That's how that's all that was. He didn't do nothing fantastic. You know, he just hit AJ on the temple, and AJ just couldn't recover. So, again, if I would have if I would have noticed, like I said, I don't know if this is the first fight, but when I saw this fight start, and he had Manny Robles with him, I was like, ah, oh, shit. God damn it. I am not confident in that. And then I saw how much energy he was wasting in the first two rounds, winning those rounds, and then that adrenaline kicking in. It did not look good for Yekumbiev from the get-go. Matisse looked like a strong breed, man. Who's going to push him back? We've we seen Julian Williams. He stood his ground with her. He won the fight. We haven't seen no one do it with... We haven't seen no one do it with um, Joy Joyce yet. So we shall see who's going to push Matisse back, who's going to stand his ground. We've seen Doug, I can't think of the guy with the P name, but we see him stand his ground, and he won the fight. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. Thank you for your time and support. Matisse, IBF, Eliminator at 140, number seven defeats, number eight. Stay tuned. <laughs>